Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, and welcome back to Far Cry Primal. Right. Where are we headed, Wolfie? That's probably what his name is, you know? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go here. Reminder to anyone who's just joining us, this is my playthrough of Far Cry Primal. I intend to go through at most of the game. I might not 100% it, but I'm going to do a lot of it. Because I really like this game, and I think it didn't get as much as it deserved. Get him! There, get him. Come on. Where's the search? Get your chomp, boy. Uh, we'll ignore them. Man, the feeling of running around at night is really cool. Um... So, also, in case you're just joining us. Okay, don't fuck with me, other wolves. I have a wolf with me. That means I'm one of you now, right? Uh, earlier in this game... Alright, it worked. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Could have tamed it, should have tamed it. Sorry. Man, this thing is what the fuck? Is there a dragon following me? But yes, last time uh, we discovered that we're the Beastmaster, we're prophesized and stuff. Uh, we're gonna rise up, save the world. Uh, we're part of a group called the Wenja, a tribe, which is a little larger than most tribes. Uh, it actually has different chapters, more or less. <laughs> Help me out here, boy. Fucking leopard. Jesus. I don't even think I can hunt that thing right now. Not without like a gun. I noticed that there isn't a quick melee, which I guess doesn't... No, that, that makes sense. This is a regular melee, you know? this into my thing. Oh yeah, I guess I need to... Do I need to light this? Oh yeah, here we go. There you go. Doesn't that feel nice? I love first-person stinger. For those who don't know, stinger is a move from the Devil May Cry franchise, wherein the uh, player launches themselves sword first at an enemy. It's got other um, similar versions of it, like streak, which is instead of stabbing at the enemy, you slash at them. But it's a fantastic move. Um, it's primary thing is that it's very useful to just close distance while also attacking. That's great. However, it's also just really cool. Well, we're gonna hunt this thing. 
Father and son. Yeah. Good boy. Torn flesh retreat. Well, that sounds friendly. I feel very welcome here. Is there a campfire should be heating up? I guess there is a fire there. I like the gameplay thing where if your sword... Your sword. Devil May Cry calls all melee weapons swords. And naturally I was thinking about it for obvious reasons. But like, even if it's like a... F even if it's like a fist, like a, like it's boxing gloves. Or it's like an electric guitar or, you know, even if it's something simple like a hammer and just not a sword. They're all called swords. I don't know why. <gasps> we got it. We got him, boy. Don't worry. Good job. You're a good boy. Knee. Knee. Get your chomp on. Okay, let's see what we got. Five meat. Brown bear skin, nice. Bunch of animal fat. The context-based um, use of fire is actually, it works pretty well. Because normally, you have a club out, and it's on fire, you hold it out. But if you have a normal club out, and you hold it, it charges up the attack. What's up, fool? Ah, daji dajri mwan mas tu chuan masi mam sahadar. Dude, I'll just give you meat. Chuan mi brash tar waikarsh. Takar, fracham, u hai kvar guana. So, uh, before recording, I, uh... My, uh, my watch on my call was in here. My external hard drive was in my computer. And I went to go and plug it. Pick? I don't know what I just picked. Sorry, I was just trying to light the campfire. See, this looks really bad, right? Anyway, trying to unplug my external hard drive. But it was like, now hold on, we're doing a thing. And so I waited for it and it was like, we're still doing a thing. And I didn't see that it was doing anything. So I was like, well, fuck, I, I'll just rip it out. I've never had any problems with it. And then I, I just ripped it out and it was like, error, and like, I got like a hundred and fifty error messages in a row. And it was like, corrupted data, corrupted data, and I don't know if it even works still. Uh, and the thing is, uh, because of how high quality the gameplay recording is... Oh, these are my stats. Neat. Uh, the first episode was like 13 gigabytes or something, just because it's, it's recording in HD. And it's, uh... Yeah, it's recording in HD, and it's... really long as well. So, uh, yeah, I haven't plugged it in yet, but I'll have to, because I'm filling up my computer. Upgradable huts, you say. Oh, well, I can do that. That's a cool mechanic, and you know what? I like that. Ah! 
Sata Brashtan. Cool. Ah, I see. Oh, it gives me skill points too. Oh, it unlocks skills for her as well. That's useful as fuck. Um. It's like that. Or it gives XP, rather. Uh, so yeah, I'm very paranoid about my uh, external hard drive, but I'm also gonna have to use it, like, right after this episode to make sure that my computer isn't dis <coughs> destroyed, because this game's fucking huge, rash, and the rash. recordings of it are huge. Something that always amuses me is whenever, like, I create more content than a game is. Like, if I were to record, like, a, like, an RPG Maker game, or, like, um... Oh, you got it, buddy. Teensai. Like, an RPG Maker game, or... Uh, I recorded Lena's Inception, or if I were to record, like, one of my NES emulations. Aw, he's having a good time. I'm glad. I'm happy for him. Like, there was a, there was a game... And I actually have not uh, done it yet, but there was a game that I recorded 10 gigabytes of footage on. And the game is just... very simple. Um... I want... Oh, I need two for that, huh? I need two for that as well, damn. But yeah, game is very simple, but I, I recorded like... 10 gigabytes on it. And so I created more, like, in the content I created, I created more data than the game is, and that really amuses me. And, like, if I was to download that off the internet, it would probably come zipped, so it would be even smaller. So, like, that game's presence on the internet versus the videos it creates, and I'm not even the only guy to let's play it. No, Akista. This is nice. I like this. I love a good jawbone club, by the way. Hell yeah. I love that shit. They really just, like, tied that club down. Man, she's got crazy eyes, y'all. Let's be honest here, those are some crazy fucking eyes. Yeah, by the way, and if the if the episode just happens to cut off randomly, it's because the <laughs> my computer filled up and couldn't hold any more data. And I had to it was gonna explode, so I had to go clear it off. Right. I don't want to talk to people. I just want to. Clubs are fast. I can hit multiple targets in one string. Slow and powerful, but hit directly in front of you. Oh, cool. And yeah, like we discussed, burning weapons are just held in front of you. Wow, that's a big man, baby. My Marchasar. Soft blood. It's so weird that you would have, like, villainy like that in this barely... Like, there's barely a society here, but there's still super villains, you know? Kind of amusing is all. Also, that guy is freakishly huge. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, get him, Wolfie. Yeah, get him. I gotta eat my crunch wrap. One moment. The idea of headshotting, like, dude, I'm doing the mission. Give me a break. The idea that headshot counts as guy standing in front of you is really amusing to me. Cavern gate. Nani? Hold on, everyone, I'm coming. Being the protagonist, I'm the only guy who can get things done, apparently. Wait, that's my friend. It's got fart clouds. That ain't fair. Hey, thanks for the spear, y'all. Man, this game is good, y'all. Do not hurt my wolfie. Poison! Poisoned by bee sting, snake bites, the rot fumes used outside the Udum homeland. I saw poison bombs. There must be an antidote recipe somewhere in this world. Maybe someday we'll find that antidote. That's interesting. It's like a early example of like a demolitions expert. Are we gonna find like an ancient sapper? Oh, they dry the meat. That makes more sense. I assume that they were just eating that shit raw. Any... anyone else? Okay, everyone seems to be cool. So like a guy in here I missed? What's, what's the haps, yo? Cool. I like that. Oh, there is a guy. Here he is. Did we miss him or did he just show up? Another fart cloud guy. I love the side shade, dude. It really, dude, it really works for you. Slaughter them like animals. Bone trees, that sounds cool. I like the idea of bone trees, to be perfectly honest. Bone trees are cool. Oh yeah. Having a little, uh, what's the point? Having a little Lord of the Flies moment there. Stabbing a board to death with a spear. Retweet if you've ever, uh, oh shit, what? Yeah, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you ever stabbed a board to death with a spear. Did you stand in the fire? Oh, there's a thing here. There's a thing at the, something's hissing at me. Oop, oop, oop. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> yeah. 
Like, you want to talk about how, uh, poisonous or venomous animals have those colorations to be like, Hey, I'm fucking poisonous. Watch the fuck out, you know? Bright red, bright blue, you know? Red and black, friend of Jack. Or whatever it is. Yoink! You got lots of animal fat. Yeah, get him, boy. Nice. I love hearing my wolfy howl. It really feels, like, inspiring whenever that wolf howls. I love a good wolf howl. This doesn't make me a furry, I've declared it. Um, so just so you know. But uh, sometimes when I'm feeling particularly primal, I do howl like a wolf. Like when I'm on like hunts. Not hunts, I'm on hikes. Just cause like, yeah, I feel that shit, you know? I know why wolves want to howl. The other thing is, is that it's cool when they howl back, which actually does happen pretty often. Be surprised. You know, dogs, wolves, all canids really are all very friendly creatures. They're inherently gregarious. So, like, of course, it's really easy to get them to, you know, talk back to you when you talk to them. Because they're so nice and friendly. You know, man's best friend and all that shit. They ain't got that reputation for no reason. Uh, this is safe, right? Uh, yeah. Come on, sly, there we go. It's a handsome tree right there. Is that you making that noise? God damn, that is an impressive growl. I assumed I was about to fight like Gorgonok, the You know, the Ultra Beast. Kill all enemies and bone all trees. You got it, my good man. Oh, no, I'm not here. Oh my god, that was brutal. Yeah, I could be stealthy, but I really do like the opportunity to just be a big unga bunga and just run around and take swings at everyone. There you go, Wolfie. Oh, shit. Nice. Good job, Wolfie. And a spear is much better for one on ones. I'll help you out, my friend. And then we'll go 
clubbing. Got some screen Terran. No worries, no worries. It's all good. See, the thing about the club is that, yes, it does less damage, but it is so satisfying to use. Yeah, you hit that howl. Yeah, how you living? What's poppin', bro? Time to kill the warriors. You know, assuming that they have come out uh, to play. Whoops! Wrong, uh, wrong person. Sorry, I saw you with a bow. I was like, you have to be with the enemies. Some because they were shot because they were standing in the wrong place. Hell yeah, guys. That's dope. That's cool. See, I know a lot about this game, but I have not played it in full my, for myself. Alright, let's see. Oh, it's time. Search takedown, because that just means that I don't have to fuck around with shit that I don't want to fuck with. Karush. Let's head on over. Holy shit. A lot of stuff popping off. I wonder if sleeping will also refill my dog health. Nope, oh, hold on. We got a hater? That's what I thought. Nah, that's cool. I don't care about taming them. I love anthropology. Nice. Whoops. Hard on. Oh, man. The sounds of this game are good. Yeah. Fantastic sound design. Like, uh, this was... In, in 2015, I had a conversation with my friend. Um,
because Undertale had recently come out. And, like, Undertale looks good and shit, you know? But while uh, they were playing Undertale, I was playing... I was playing the Phantom Pain. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Five, the Phantom Pain, to say, specifically. And I remember being like, look, the chip tune is good, you know? The bit crushed music is good. But like, pound for pound, sometimes there just is not, there's not a uh, replacement for just pure fucking money. And one of the reasons that this game is so goddamn fantastic is because of all the money they sunk into it. And like, they did that and it was really a gamble on their part. It's cool. Like, I would really appreciate it if more AAA development studios like Ubisoft would take those risks. You know? It's impressive. It's worthwhile. In doing this, you can give people an appreciation or understanding of things beyond just, like, the modern age. Like, I know some stupid people. For a lot of them, their opinions and ideas about the Stone Age is just the Flintstones. There are people alive today who still think that the earth is flat and that man walked around with dinosaurs and that, like, pelicans were like cement mixers, you know? There's some dumbass people in the world. And I imagine that a lot of them play Ubisoft games. So I think it's good of Ubisoft to do something that, you know, is not just breaking the mold a little bit but can be outright educational. I think that's fantastic. That is not the way you're meant to use a bow, naturally. Oh man, those big jungle drums. God knows I love that shit. Who wants them? There's some theory. I would like to read theories about, um... Oh, that is a stock pot break noise. You can't tell me it's not. Like, I'll be honest, sometimes, maybe, maybe sometimes the pot break noises are not just stock pot noise. It could just be a thing that, like, when you break a pot, it really doesn't sound that different from, like, another pot. Like, a big circular pot. Maybe those all sound the same, you know? I wouldn't know. I've never, like, broken a big pot. So, you know, maybe they just all sound the same. It'd be kind of funny, honestly. Something kind of irritating. I could find the, um... I couldn't find the option to stabilize frame rate in the, uh, in the menu. That's here. How about you, old man? It was a little annoying. I was hoping that I could like lock it at 30 or at least 60. Because OBS recur uh, records. Oh, 
OBS records in 40 minimum, I think. Uh, you can't turn it down to 30, which is kind of annoying. Because I think that YouTube, like, starts at 30. And it's like, there's an extra 10 frames in there that most people aren't even seeing, you know? Because YouTube is at 30. So my videos sometimes have a weird frame rate. It's because they record a game in 30. Well, sorry, they record in 40 for a game that's 30 and then it is then uploaded at 30. It's just kind of annoying. One of the things of using free software, I guess. OBS is damn good, though. Come on. Yeah, dolls are like hyenas, foxes, or wolves. They're in that. They're in those uh, groups. In terms of like their ecological niches, I don't know if they're genetically related to all of those animals. I assume they are, and they're either uh, endangered or extinct today in modern times. A lot of fart gas around here. The HUD is fairly unobtrusive, which I appreciate. Oh man, is it because I killed those two dolls I had to wait for more to spawn? Bring me the next one. There you go, get him. And then have a chomp. Something I want to mention, why doesn't the wolf just eat the animals he kills? Or fuck, even the people. It's not cannibalism. He's a wolf. He's perfectly fine to eat a dude. Alright, what are we getting next? Show resources, tame wildcats. I mean, I'm honestly very pleased with my wolf. It'd be cool to get, like, a cat, but, like, I don't really need it, you know? Alright, where are we headed? I've got bad carpal tunnel. Well, initially, I had ulnar tunnel, but it just kept getting worse. Now it's carpal tunnel. Probably gonna have to get surgery before I'm 25. Oh, I might have to get surgery before I'm 25. Fingers crossed, right? Ow! I crossed my fingers and it hurt. Eee. Um. Yeah, so I've fucking. Ah, Warbidi. Hell yeah. My thumb hurts like crazy. I mentioned it last time about how my thumb hurts, but like, yeah, really hurts. Oh, yum. Great. This is how it works on CSI Miami, right? You drink a guy's eyeballs and then you see what he saw when he died. Vision of ice. See, the Udom come from the far north. Udom. Sorry. Uh, if I remember correctly, they originated from the far north. Why do we keep dying one of the masks? My clapper. My clapper. My clapper. That is a fucking fertility statue. My clapper. My Early waifus, you know? This is an ominous fucking club. 
The fact that they've given me a health bar and a club means that I'm gonna get. Okay, cool. Well, I'm having fun at least. Am I like? Oh, those are uh, those are civilians. Am I like the little specter of death? Is this the thing that they all fear? Like conceptually, am I am I like their grim reaper? Like, in this vision, is this what it's like to be an Udom? And to, like... Oh, to have all your family die around you because of the cold or because of other things? Ooh, we get a little sneak peeks at enemy types we haven't seen. I believe that's the equivalent of a heavy. That's cool. Elephant skulls are so weird. If you didn't know, um, a lot of the ideas of the Cyclops are based off of old elephant skulls that uh, the Greeks found. Because they just found it without the tusks, and they were like, oh, this must be, you know, a one-eyed beast, a one-eyed giant, you know? And so they were like, well, clearly it was humanoid, of course, because it has a skull like my mammal. And because the Greeks did that to everything, they were like, oh, the sky? That's humanoid. You know, the ocean? Yeah, that's a guy. His name's Poseidon. Death and being dead, both of those are gods. Thantos, Zagreus, Hades. Everyone's a guy. They're all guys. They're all people, you know? I'm not sure if I could die here. Don't want to risk it because these sections are always kind of tedious. Though I will say this is one of the most exciting ones because you get to like go bananas and get all melee on dudes and that's radical. Right. I'm feeling good. I made three videos today. This being the third. Both of them were longer, though. I recently did a thing where I um, was like, I'll record really short videos. And so I did short games with short videos. And, like, that felt really good. You know, just to crank out ten, like, short videos that are all, like, ten minutes or twenty minutes. Like early game grub shit, you know? That's a, that's all great. I love that. What if I'm the like specter, like the idea of cold? And the reason that like the heavy Udams are harder to kill in this form? You know, even though I'm not human right now, is because. Whoops. What if it's not because I'm. It's not because that they're, like, physically tougher, it's because they're actually wearing pelts and clothes and shit to protect them. Next. Why do we keep dying? asked the Udom. Do, 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 do. Hell yeah. I love that shit. Wife <laughs> die. You weren't sure? That seems remarkably unsafe, my friend. Yeah, get that all. Oh, it's really bad whenever you... 
Al Falhu Uda Mbakwe. Junta Daba Dabu. That's funny. Galaita Uda Bajam. Shrash. Shrash. Yagisu Sarta. Swarga. Marmani. That's a good detail that he hits his head on it. Udam Shaskwan Isla. Please, no more. Udam Masup near Bacha. Uda Uda Blahagwar Pati. Where did you get that wolf pelt dog? Like, you're not like a big warrior type. I don't foresee you hunting it. You're not like a people person, so you wouldn't have like a tribe, I think. Mm hmm. Gotta say, I've talked to a lot of cavemen, but I haven't done a lot of killing. Want to do more killing? Talk to me, come on. Takar, Winja Wantar, Shaskau Himshalla, Masi Waichai Hatra Wana. Bal hu sashwa lim hu haya, ukau hi waida tu sasahui. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna need all these. Let's head here next. Let's boogie, pupper. But first, what's going on over here, guys? Yeah, get him! That dude's a badass. Not every day you see someone just run at you with an arrow sticking out of their chest. You know? I really like I really like that uh Takara will actually tell people where a safe place is. I appreciate that of him. One of the really cool things that I liked in the uh Second most recent Spider-Man game, uh, the PS4 Spider-Man, Sony's Spider-Man, you know. Sony presents Sony Spider-Man by Sony. Something I really liked about it is that um, after saving someone, Peter will not only be like, hey, you're okay now, I saved you, I'm Spider-Man and shit. He will also be like, do you have a place to go? You know, because if someone's on the street, you might not have a place to go. And so he'll, like, recommend them the homeless shelter that his aunt works at. And, like, that's just very pleasant, you know? I love caring heroes. There's so many heroes that are, like, violence... Where, like, violence is the answer. And, like, Takara definitely knows that violence is the answer. But only for enemies, you know? He has time for people. He has time for allies. He has time for a village, you know? Peter Parker, too. It's one of the things that makes him so appreciable. Because honestly, sometimes that's all it takes to be a hero. No, you don't need to have superpowers or like a cool beast beast man prophecy. Just take a little time for people. That's all you really need. Oh, my hand hurts so bad that it's starting to like itch with pain. Or maybe it's knitting together. Or maybe it's like literally just gonna fall apart. Like it's gonna just split open. That'd be gross. But cool. But gross. But cool. It's 
someone farting over here? Oh man, I love jungle drums. Good boy. You get a pork chop. Yeah, levitate it into your mouth. Takara's got the force. Or alternatively, the dog does. Carefully take this rope down. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, get him. See, the issue is that the dog keeps stealing my kills, which is like... I'm happy for him, you know? Then again, in games with a maximum uh, level, sometimes you want to maybe slow down on things that speed up your ability to... to level up. Next one. That should have killed me. Oh, that guy got bodied. All right, glad I could help everyone. Was that pig? Damn straight. Get him, boy. Hell yeah, new villagers. All right. Let me see here. Show resources. Don't want it. Skinning will be useful. What I really want is... These are all crafting things. Death room above. Here it is. Karush. All right. We'll stop the episode when we get to Karush. Or maybe it'll just crash. On account of that thing. Have my computers, like, literally full. I'm aware that I unlocked an achievement. Will it go away anytime soon? Please. God damn it, Ubisoft. If I could turn off Uplay, I would. They just force you to use it, you know? It's bullshit. But, like, on the other hand, I really don't appreciate how Valve has the market cornered. Like, that actually kind of annoys me. But, like, Valve has the market cornered on... Yeah, good boy. Valve has the market cornered on PC games. Because, like, Steam is an absolute juggernaut. Steam cannot be defeated. Like, it kind of looked like maybe we were going to get something that might be able to stand up to Steam, but, like, Epic Game Store started to fall apart, and, like, now it's just not as good, and... Oh, good boy. Good boy. Okay, cool. That fixed it. Good boy. Like, on the one hand, Steam is really nice. It's cool to use Steam. I like all the sales that I get. But on the other hand, 
like as an American, as someone who like our country had a long deal where they oh oh god, it started to chug. Yeah, like with we had a thing with like trust busting and stuff. We're like, hey, we gotta we gotta stop these dudes from, you know, taking over. We can't have monopolies, you know. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no, my wolf. Oh shit. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, this is not good, y'all. Oh, we're not gonna be able to get to him. No. Maybe we can get you around this way. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, we're not going to make it. No. What? Your pals with me, buddy. Oh, he's. Resurrection. Keep this crunch wrap. That ended up eating up some time. So maybe we'll just unlock this hunter and then head along uh, and then cut the episode because my computer's gonna blow up. Oh wow, I really like this game. It's everything I wanted, honestly. Good boy. Man, this game is such a good sound design, y'all. Hmm, that's cool. Like, I know some people would see that and be like, oh, I hate when games do this, but like, I love that. There's this really cool, um, mod I really want to play. I have never been able to mod anything above, like, Doom. Like, part of that's just because, like, Doom is one of the easiest games to mod of all time. And then it's just... It's dead simple. It's just installing some some stuff. But, like, there's this, uh, there's this cool mod either for Morrowind or Skyrim called Frostfall, I want to say. But, uh, it's a mod where, like, exposure and cold and Freezing are all things that can happen. Right, but when's a bitch? Feel like a common sense vision that would tell me, like, oh, I should go to the cave. Humans often need to take shelter. And, like, it's a fucking cave. It's gonna be a straight line, y'all. No, stop. Don't attack. Okay. 
Alright. Okay, maybe I can... Um... Go hide. Guys, please, come on here. <sighs> Damn. I don't even know what these things do. Wait. Oh, they're little throwing knives. That's pretty cool and useful. Wait, no. Go over there. Where'd it go? Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm so happy. If this works. You're not the real wolf, because you got resurrected and stuff. That's probably not canon, you know? A little tussle here. Is there, like, a climb? Here we go. Yeah, they climbed over it. Makes sense. Probably to throw off the fucking dangerous lions that were attacking her. Since I've lost the trail. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, Myaka. Takar. Guarsta. Bahur Tigri Shambi. Vakubi Takar. Oh, there's tigers? Don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this. That is about as good as boys get. Oh, wow. Alright. Need your help. That's a big boy. Okay, maybe he'll be distracted by the meat. You know, that's probably a good place to cut the episode. Uh, I've been Alfred. It's been Far Cry Primal. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming by. Have a good day.